All right, boys, today I'm going to be running you through every single investment that you can make right now to help you make some easy coins on FIFA 22. But before I get into that, I need to show you guys the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, boys, so jumping into these investments, we're just quickly going to touch on every single investment that I like right now. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the bronze rares and silver rares for major nations, specifically France and Spain are going to be the two best nations. And basically, you just want to try to pick these up for as cheap as possible on the market. You can get these like 300, 350, which is basically their minimum price. And the reason these are really good is whenever we get a daily SBC that's somewhere between like 60 65 and 72 rated and requires a bunch of rares these cards basically triple in price every single time so you know you dump all your coins into these you can triple your coins off the back of it now the silvers are typically the easiest one to go in on because the bronzes won't do as well for the higher rated squads but the silvers do very very well here and specifically the best uh, thing is going to be Spanish center backs. Center backs are always going to do the best, and it just seems like the Spanish ones always do the best here as well. So these bronze rares and silver rares from major nations specifically france and spain are going to be your best and center backs is going to be the best position and just try to get those for the cheapest on the market right now try to get the bronzes for like 150 200 and the silvers for like 300 or 350 no risk investment can triple your coins off of it now Moving on to the next investment here, some that I like is going to be some of the gold rare center backs that always go up in price with daily SBCs. So for example, a guy like Pau Torres here. Pau Torres is a guy that typically hits like 1,500 to 2,000 coins with the right daily SBC, and he's currently selling for 1,000 coins a piece. So depending on the day, I mean, we saw him hit 2,000 coins last week. We saw him sit at 1,600 the week before. He's a guy that's just too cheap at the moment and always goes up with SBCs like this. So he's one example. Uh, some ones that are very, very similar to him would be guys like a guy like Mario Hermoso here. Goes around the same price, 82 rated Spanish La Liga center back. Another one I like here is going to be Gabriel Paulista, 82 rated Brazilian uh, La Liga center back here. Again, under a thousand coins here. So these are all very, very like low risk. They don't really get much lower than this. And again, you could double your coins, you know, even make 150% on a card which is a very, very nice profit. And then it, it isn't even just always the center backs either. Guys like Saul is always a really good one. If you can get him for under 1,000 coins, well, I'm not going to get him as a center back here. But Saul for 1,000 coins or under is very, very good. Another guy here is going to be DePaul. He's always good, 1,000 coins or under. Great card to invest in. Another one off the top of my head would be Grimaldo. He's not like super high rated, but 82 rated here, Spanish left back from the Portuguese league. Again, always just good for SBCs. And then another one that comes to mind here would be Region, Spanish Premier League left back, 81 rated. Just overall good card to invest in. And again, it requires specific daily SBCs to come. So basically with these kind of investments, it's just you just buy them when they're cheap and you just sell them whenever they're up in price, which is going to be when that content comes. And then we can move on to Team of the Weeks now. And with Team of the Weeks, what you're mainly going to be looking at is just the current Team of the Week that is in packs. There's a lot of cards that I like the look of at the moment. Let me pull it up real quick here so I can run you through some of these cards. So on the cheaper end, Ben Sabiani here is going to be very, very good. He's a left wing back in the Bundesliga. 82 rated and it says he's about 12 and a half k here which is a really really good price to pick this card up that so i love that price there again sticking with some of the lower rated guys i love this hubner card being a bundesliga german center back for about 12k here is an absolute steal so I think he's definitely a guy you could go in on. And then another one I really, really like here as a low rated card is going to be Ruli. These goalkeepers always seem to do well out of packs. 83 rated Argentinian La Liga keeper for 15K is great. And then quickly jumping in 
to the higher rated cards here. There are a bunch of 86s this week that I think are really, really good to invest in. Ndombele here, sitting at about 25k, just a bit too cheap. French, French League midfielder, good rating, usable in game, very solid there. Trippier, I think, is a bit too cheap as well here, coming in about 26,000 coins, it says. An English Premier League right back, I think he's a great investment there. Another one is going to be Delict here, a guy that gets great fodder links here. And he's an 86 rated Dutch Serie A center back is very, very good. James Ward Prowse, I think, is another one here. Another English Premier League player. So he's, again, just too cheap for me at 26,000 coins. I think he's definitely going to go up. And then our last one here is going to be Mignan. He's currently selling for, it says about 28,000 coins. And I think this card could easily hit 35, 36K in a couple weeks. So I think that is way too cheap as well. But guys, that's going to wrap it up. I just quickly wanted to run through some of these investments that you guys can make to make some easy coins right now. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.